Thank you. Uh, my question is to the Attorney General. Speaker, this year the Ontario Association of Landscape Architects celebrates its 50th anniversary, and I'm delighted to see a strong showing from Ontario's 1,700 landscape architects in the Legislature today. I know they've been working over the last few years to build a case for the same regulatory status as architects and other professionals. And I understand that the Attorney General has advised the profession to work within their current Title Act rather than offer the public stronger protection with a Practice Act. I further understand that there is significant public harm that could be done if action isn't taken in this regard. So I ask, will the Minister take a second look at this important public safety issue, or could he at least advise this House what analysis his ministry did to really show the profession that the ministry took the request seriously. Minister, Attorney General. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. I want to thank the member opposite uh, for, for this question. And I would first like to say that we greatly value the contributions uh, the landscape architect architects make in our province. Landscape architect architects use specialized technical related training for grading, stormwater control, erosion control, and other matters to help reduce physical safety risk in public spaces. Their work, Speaker, is vital to building Ontario up. I would also like to offer my own personal congratulations as well as congratulations on behalf of our government and Premier to Ontario Association of Landscape Architects for celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. This is a truly remarkable uh, landmark speaker. I was, speak, uh, I was pl uh, pleased to speak at the OALA AGM speaker last year in Ottawa and look forward to continuing building our relationship together. I would also especially like to thank Ms. Anna Budrovic, Executive Director of OALA, who is here with us today for her continued hard work on the advancement of the profession speaker. Uh, speaker, I believe that OLA has, has met with other title uh, protection professions uh, as well to, and have had productive conversations about the thank continued you, development. Thank you. And I, I return back to the member from Simcoe Gray. Well, thank you, Speaker. Back to the Attorney General. Certainly, uh, we understand, Minister, as you said, you, you advised the uh, landscape architects to meet with the chartered professional accountants to show how landscape architects could make their current act achieve the same objectives. With issues like street safety, flooding and climate change impacted by this matter, would now not be the time to take another look at the issue? That's what I'm asking on behalf of the association. Is the minister not aware that the profession is growing at twice the speed of traditional architecture and needs the government's support for a practice act? And so, minister, will you revisit this issue? Just say Attorney General. Uh, Speaker, I, I, I want to thank the work that, uh, that uh, OALA uh, does and the very productive conversations that, uh, that my ministry uh, staff uh, and my office staff had with the association. Uh, Speaker, uh, as the member opposite said, the association did submit materials for us to support their case when it comes to full practice protection. The documents, in our view, did not provide systemic evidence that restricting the practice of landscape architect architecture to members of the Ontario Association of Landscape Architects was necessary to protect the public from harm. Protecting the public uh, from harm is a key factor when extending a government-sanctioned professional monopoly because this type of legislation would impact the ability of some people in Ontario to make a living. Speaker, as for next steps, my ministry plans to work with OALA, uh, OALA on reviewing their current act and assessing areas for revision and further professionalization of the work of landscape architecture. In particular, Speaker, we hope to work together on the association's bylaw making powers and enhancing Sir? their existing disciplinary process. I look forward to continue working with them and further exploring this issue. Thank you. Thank you.